Hello again, I'm Jane Willingale of Silver Zone Printables. Welcome to another video in my series on Affinity Publisher Tips. And if that kind of thing interests you, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be sure not to miss these kind of videos when I post them. In this video, I want to show you how to make best use of Affinity Publisher Auto Text Flow feature which is extremely useful for creating planners and diaries of any kind where you've got um, a consistent flow of text to add in. So I have set up a basic uh, planner week to view two pages. I'll just zoom out so you can see how that works. And I've set them face to face just so that it's easier to see the, the whole week. I have set up the weekdays because they'll be fixed on all of those pages, but I've also set up an auto flow text box to enter the dates into. And you can see on each of the columns that there's an empty text box on each of those pages. And if we zoom in, you can see that if I put a, a, a bit of text in there, or go to, you get the, the linking um, icon come up in the corner. So the left hand side, which is empty, means there's nothing to come in. And the right hand side, which is full, means it's linked to another box. And if I click on it, you can see the directional arrows, which show the path that the text will link through to. Now there's nothing in there at the moment, because if obviously if I put that on the master page, it would replicate across the whole uh, planner which we don't want. So I've set up the boxes and to do that if it doesn't link for you just enter some text into it temporarily on the master page and then remember to delete it once you've got your boxes linked. Otherwise that will show through as I said. So those are empty. We'll now go to um, a couple of the pages which are already set up and you can see that I have started to enter in um, the first lot of dates. And these dates are um, from a text file, which is part of the um, pa planner pack that I sell. <coughs> so you don't have to type all the dates and, and months, etc. in. So I'll just pull that file in so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the uh, text file, which I have all the week numbers, the day numbers, I've also got a flow for the weekdays, so it's not really necessary on this and the months because I will have uh, two per spread, one on the left, one on the right. So for this particular exercise, you would copy that series of numbers. Now you can either go through and type in every single month or literally just copy and paste them down. Make sure they're correct for each month or you can take just one set as I've done here and copy that into this text box. So I've already done it actually and it started to flow through but it hasn't gone as far as I want it to. So if I click on the last one in this particular week and the one irritating feature of this is you have to zoom in on the page so that you can see the little red arrow. So I'll just zoom in there. And then if you click on the box, you can see the arrow. Now, Alt, um, Affinity has a really nice little feature. If you now press Alt Shift and then click on that button, it will repeat the master page and fill in all the numbers for you all the way down through to the last page. So this is why I say you've got to get your month numbers correct if you're going to copy the whole lot in. But otherwise it would do 31 and then you can adjust accordingly for each month. But isn't that so much faster than having to go through and link every single box or type them all in? So I hope that helps and it means you can take this particular planner, uh, having set it up the once, and use it again and again. Even if you want to change the layout, as long as you keep your text boxes, the rest of it will just flow through. And if all that seems like far too much faff, um, I've already done this one for you. You can purchase this on my site at silverzoneprintables.com uh, with all the necessary files and several different sizes available.
That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, remember to click the subscribe button and notification bell and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. I've been Jane Willingale of Silvers and Printables. Till the next time, stay safe. See you soon.